up at 11 o'clock I ain't got no job What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck Oh my God, shut the fuck up I ain't hearing what you gotta say What the deal, how you feel, not important All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches But don't be coming at me with that horse shit Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit I am actually going to a yoga class at 8 a.m. I am not usually up at this hour, like I don't need to be up this hour, but I have no problem getting up early really, except today was really a struggle because for the last two days I've had coffee and I actually kind of quit drinking coffee so I like get my caffeine via tea and that's like something I never really like realized but caffeine like really affects me and coffee really affects me so for the past freaking two nights I've just been up at like 5 a.m. just like sitting and like being like why can't I sleep so that's also kind of why I wanted to get up early today is to like regulate my sleep schedule a little bit <sighs> I know in my soul I just got done with yoga. I pretty much go every day. It's an addiction at this point. Now I'm rolling up to the Trader Joe's parking lot. It is 9.25. I've been meaning to go to the grocery store for a little while. It's most efficient if I go after yoga because it's like already kind of on the way back. And I remembered my grocery bag. So today is a great start to the day. And there's no one here, bless. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> that was a bird. So it started like intensely raining as I was grocery shopping. There was like lightning and thunder as I was checking out and the Trader Joe's crew member was so panicked. I think it's supposed to rain all weekend. I don't know, there's like something about rain in LA. It's just very cozy. Living in an apartment building is literally just a daily challenge of how much stuff you can carry like in one trip. Okay, so I very clearly just got out of the shower and it was so weird because I saw another flashing light and then I heard the biggest Boom, it kind of sounded like there was like a bulldozer or something like outside my window. It was a huge like clap of thunder and the guy, like the crew member was like, I don't know, like I'm a level-headed guy but I just have an intuition because he was like kind of freaking out. The lightning with the thunder, little bit alarming. So <laughs> I, I, still, I still like the rain though. Recently there's been a ton of change in my life and for like literally the past two months, I like had the best time had a friend who stayed with me Jerry miss you before that I was traveling in Europe and staying with my sister I think for maybe a total of did you guys see that there's like an actual storm outside in LA this is like so rare Wow, okay. As you guys know, I started a company with another YouTuber and it didn't really go as planned. I mean, it went as planned. It's like what exactly what I expected might happen. I had like many different scenarios in my head. We basically made the decision to not pursue it full time together. My initial plan was to do that for a year and then see where it went. Um, so I kind of cut it short a little bit. With that, I kind of took like the last two months as a break after I kind of decided that that was like not gonna be my future. It might sound like kind of like I'm like disappointed. Like I keep talking about how I'm in a, in a transition or like how I pursued something and it failed. I don't see those as bad things at all. I know my life path will go somewhere else. I think everything in my life is a learning opportunity and this was a huge learning opportunity. I think it's great that I can be in the moment, take time to ref self reflect and then know where I am and like in my life and I was kind of thinking when like the older generation makes fun of millennials they are like talking about me like I am just living life trying to pursue what I love I'm doing yoga teacher training um, just out of passion and then after that I'm gonna be finding a job in a startup I want to like work in a space where I feel valued and where I feel like my work and voice is heard and appreciated and actually used so I thought I would take you guys through a day in my life as just like the most freaking millennial person you could probably find uh, which is me so Welcome to my day. I hope this is a fun video. Usually when I get up, I try to eat breakfast after like 
I do my usual morning routine. I'm kind of subscribed to the idea of intermittent fasting. Usually I have half a cup of oatmeal and then two boiled eggs and that's like a perfectly fine breakfast for me. Like I like that breakfast. I feel like it's healthy. It fills me up. It's really convenient. I don't know. I was debating this next little thing. I bought bacon and I was kind of worried because I've talked about how I'm like not a vegetarian on this channel anymore or actually on my vlog channel. I haven't talked about it here. I'm kind of nervous because it seems like this is a step back, but I don't know. I really try to like be mindful of like the environment. I do a lot to reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm like always picking shit out of the recycling because my roommates don't know how to recycle. And I feel like actually stupid for justifying this purchase. And I could have just not showed you guys, but I was like, that's just dumb. Like this is my life. Breakfast is like one of my favorite foods. Growing up, my mom would always make me a delicious breakfast. I don't think anyone else does really, but I'll just ask, does anyone else put pepper on their oatmeal? I never think of oatmeal as like a sweet thing. I've always thought of it like grits or like rice, so it's like savory to me. So this next thing, I don't always like have time to do it every day. There's nothing in the process of actually journaling, like you're not feeling any different. It's like kind of just writing stuff down. And my method is what I learned. It's by Julia Cameron, Morning Pages. It's basically just a stream of consciousness. The idea is to like get it out of your mind onto paper and that way you can live like a more creative life in your other avenues of life because you've like really taken the thing that was top of mind for you that was like maybe subconsciously top of mind and put it on paper. I found so many benefits to journaling. Kind of like you're writing like the story of your life on paper and it kind of just helps you process things in your own life and kind of even look at things from a different perspective than you did in your head. So we're gonna go journal now, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm down here on my balcony. I have like a nice aroma of weed right now. Anyways, if it's cold, I will bring a blanket. It makes it a lot cozier. I wear fuzzy socks. There we go. I bring this table out. This is a bamboo table that I got on Amazon. It's actually so handy. I always bring a little cup of tea out. I got this in Finland. So now I'm just gonna journal for three pages. I'm limiting myself so I don't like spend too long on this. And yeah. Good, like hour outside just kind of enjoying the rain. 